So in this case, we are going to consider our Thevenin's uh, theorem, which is uh, also important that we have uh, for our basics of understanding, uh, just like uh, any other uh, theorems that we had uh, working with the uh, superposition, you managed to work with each uh, network that you are given, depending with their many voltage sources, which can differ with the uh, thevenin. We can have a combination where there is one voltage source. Okay, let us just have it here. That is our Thevenin's uh, theorem. So with this one, you can have uh, one voltage source. You can also be given uh, two voltage uh, sources, depending uh, with what you have. It's, it's not on one like uh, uh, what we had working with the uh, superposition so that you superimpose the currents thereafter. Because having one current, guys, you can use any direct method that you are given. I mean, we're having one voltage source. So the theorems, they are still going back to any network. So given any network under Thevenin, I'm just going to explain in short. Uh, you have got, uh, uh, got these guys, your theorems, what they mean, this and that. So in this case, I'm just going to explain in short. So having any network uh, circuit that you are given in that case that you had removed the load resistor from it, from that network, you removed the load resistor and you are remaining with the points A and B. So in this case, we have removed what? Removed the load resistor, which is RL. We are going to remain with something of this nature of that network. That network under Thevenin can be rewritten as a Thevenin's equivalent circuit, actually something of this nature, where we are actually having the voltage. So that, that is the voltage there. You can present your voltage with a circle uh, like that. Uh, it's up to you guys. Then you're just going to have your VTEV. You can indicate uh, the way that you understand, guys. And this will be our Thevenin's resistance uh, to those points A and B where our load resistor was removed. So that is where we are going to have our A and B, where uh, the load resistor was removed in this case. Okay. So you're going to have something like this, where the load resistor was removed. So any circuit can be represented in this manner. So the case is how are we going to have this VDEF from this network that we are given. So VTEF is the Thevenin's voltage, that, that one. It is simply representing the open circuit or voltage. So is the open circuit voltage. That is our open circuit voltage across these two points A and B. So it's the second voltage, uh, the open circuit voltage across A and B, which are those points that you indicated. So in actual sense, we can simply say VTEF is equal to VAB. That is what it means. The voltage across points A and B, that's your VTEF. What about this other thing? Because we are not having that from our network, from this network that you're given. We were not having this RTF. So where are we going to obtain it from? So RTF is the Thevenin's resistance, which is true. That is the total resistance of the circuit. So this is when you view it across the points A and B. So it's also referred to as the look-in resistance. When you are looking across these points A and B, how the circuit is presented there. 
you calculate the total resistance. So it is the total resistance. That is going to be the total resistance of the circuit. This is the total uh, resistance of the circuit viewed, meaning to say we are taking this as the look-in resistance that is viewed at the terminals of A and B. At the terminals of what? A and B. So this will be viewed there at A and B, which is the, the look, you look in. That is the look-in resistance. So you can actually uh, just call this look-in resistance. In short, look-in resistance. So this is what you're going to do. But this resistance that you're talking about, that you are viewing across A and B, it is not just taken across A and B. At that moment, all voltage sources will be replaced with a short circuit. Meaning to say, if there is a voltage source, you replace with internal resistances. So in that condition, it is going not to be only just like that. It is going to be with all voltage sources. With all voltage uh, so, uh, sources short-circuited. So we are going to short-circuit them. Okay, uh, replaced with internal resistances. Replaced with internal resistances. Okay, uh, if it is maybe there is a lot, uh, there is a current that is there. For a current source, you replace with an open circuit. For a current source. Uh, replace with an open circuit. All right, an open circuit, guys, and a short circuit, they are different. Open is going to be open like that, but short circuit is continuous. The voltage is not there, but you can replace it with the, the resistor that is there. So that is how you can have your VTEV and your other there. And having that, you can even calculate whatever that you want from the circuit diagram. Is it the current that you want to calculate? Maybe you're given there the current which is going to flow across the load. From the total voltage over the total resistance, the total resistance is going to be the series combination of RTF and the load resistor that we are given there. We can calculate anything that you've been given there. So that is what you're going to need. So in order for us to apply these, there isn't that calculating, we are going to consider the steps as we are to work out uh, questions that you be having. And also in calculating of this, it also depends with the way that you are going to take, okay? The way that you are going to use in calculations it's uh, also in your hands, the way that you're going to calculate the after. All right. With this network that I'm having, uh, we are given to use or to apply uh, the Thevenin's theorem. Calculate the current flowing the 8 ohm resistor, which is R4, this one. So meaning to say R4 is going to be considered as our load resistor. So there are actually many ways that we can do this, guys. Uh, I'm going to explain uh, about uh, this in calculations uh, because we can have different sources that we are using and explaining also differently. So you can also uh, consider that. Like I said, what you need is to have these two, the voltage, which is your VTEF and your RTF. All right. So starting with the VTEF, remember I said this is an open circuit voltage across A and B. So meaning to say on your steps, number one, you are going to remove the load resistor. Okay. So we are going to remove 
the load resistor. By removing the load resistor, which is our RL, remember that's our load resistor RL, we can mark the points A and B and mark uh, the points A and B and mark uh, the terminals, which are the points that you are given uh, as A and B. So this is what you're going to do in every calculation. You remove that, so you remove this. Like I said, for this type of equation, you can also answer it uh, other ways because the current flowing across the 8 ohm resistor is the same as the current flowing the, through the 10 ohm resistor. So I'm going to explain it in another way also. Uh, let's start with what we are seeing, what we have uh, talked about before. So you remove this one. Then you're going to have A and B across. So meaning to say our circuit was going to be like this. Okay, let's just try to have uh, this circuit also redrawn without uh, the load. So it's going to be like this. All right, so this part you just take as it is the rest of the circuit. Uh, another way I'm going to explain is going to be a little bit different from this one. All right, so if we consider... Uh, this was our V1, which was 12 volts here. And this is R1, uh, 6 ohms. Uh, this is R2, 12 ohms. Uh, this is our R3, which is 10 ohms. And this is where we're going to have our points A and B. And I said we are supposed to calculate V, theve, which is the Thevenin's voltage, which is the voltage across a and B, the open circuit voltage across A and B. So the question is, how are we going to calculate this voltage across A and B? So in this calculation, guys, because this is, we have opened here. So meaning to say this is now useless, this R3, because the current there, there's nothing that is going to be affected. So you consider this out in the calculation of your V there, because here it's open. So the voltage across A and B is the voltage across here, 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 here. The guys, we are talking about A and B. These are the points A and B. So it's the voltage that is occurring immediately after this resistor here, across this 12 ohm resistor. That, that, that is the voltage that we are talking about. So you can calculate V there. That is number two now. So you can calculate VTEF, which is the voltage across A and B. Like I said, our VTEF is equal to VAB, which is this one across here. Using the voltage divider rule, that's where now it plays a role. Remember, I talked about this guy's an hour, uh, voltage divider rule as a, a topic on its own. I said that you can use this resistor because they are dividing the 12 volts with this R1. So R2 and R1 are sharing the 12 volts that we are seeing here. So it can be subdivided. So using the voltage divider rule, it means the voltage across AB, which is our VTEF, our VTEF in this case, which is the voltage across A and B. You use the, remember, voltage divider, use that resistor on top. The way you are calculating, that is the one that you use, which is your R2. So it's going to be uh, R2 over the sum of these two resistors, R1 plus R2 times what? The supply voltage, which is V1. So that's it. We have got our VTEF. So meaning to say our VTEF was going to be R2, which is 12 over the sum, uh, 6 plus 12 times V1, which is 12 volts. So by this, we have got our evidence voltage which is going to give us 8 volts. All right, which is, we have got our V there. there. So like I said, uh, because this, uh, this is the volt across this R2, so this other resistor can be out of the circuit in V there. You're not going to consider that. So we have our V there. The third stage that you need is to short circuit all voltage sources this time so that we can calculate RTF. So you're going to short circuit. OK. 
Okay, so this time you are going to short circuit all voltage sources. All voltage sources. By short circuiting this voltage source, you replace with the internal resistance and replace by internal resistance and replace uh, by internal resistance and replace by internal resistances. Whereas if it is a current, you open circuit when it is a current. So meaning to say this diagram was going to be given like this. It's going to be a short circuit, but there's a voltage there. So it will be a short circuit like this. So you just have R1. It's now a short circuit. Remember, it's not open. It's short circuit. So it's going to be connected uh, to R2 and connected to R3. Uh, remember, there's R3 there. R3 is part of our diagram, remember? So that's going to be like this. This is where you have your points A and B. So that is what, how it was going to be like. R3 being 10 ohms. Uh, this is our R2, 12 ohms. Uh, that's 12 ohms. Uh, this is our R1, which is 6 ohms. There it's now a short circuit. So after sh the short circuit of this, what is it that we need? We need to calculate. That is the fourth step to calculate RTF. So from there, you can calculate RTF, which is the Thevenin's voltage. Checking through terminals A and B, like I said, you view through the terminals A and B, that is the look-in resistance. So if you look in the terminals A and B, how are you viewing the circuit as you look in like this? We can see that R1 is combined to these two resistors that are in parallel. That is what we can see. So it means our RTF as our look-in resistance is going to be R3 plus the parallel combination of these two resistors, which is R1 by R2 over R1 plus R2. Uh, remember, product over sum. We have got our RTF. So that's it. Our thef, uh, RTF is going to be R3, which is 10, uh, plus R1 times R2, which is going to be 6 times 12 over 6 plus 12. Okay, so that is what you're going to have in that case. You have got your RTF. Combine everything. So that was going to give us uh, 14 ohms. So this was going to be 4 plus 10, which is 14 ohms as our RTF. This is your RTF. So with your RTF and the VTF that you obtained, which is your Thevenin's voltage, you take these to the equivalent circuit. These are the ones that we see here. The equivalent circuit. This is our equivalent circuit. So having your RTF and your VTF, it's enough for us to have the equivalent circuit. So that is uh, the fifth stage. Okay, remember that was the fourth stage uh, on our steps. The fifth stage is going to draw. So in that case, you will draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit diagram. Okay, equivalent uh, circuit diagram. So meaning to say, uh, in that case, we are going to have from our diagram, uh, that is diagram there, there is R there, guys. Okay, let me just, what happened here? Okay, let's see. That is... Second diagram, like this. All right. So if you are to consider the second diagram, it has the load resistor. Also, it's connected. The load resistor is there. So we've got VTF, RTF, load resistor in series like that. Okay, so this is what we were going to have. Okay, uh, so you're going to have 
our vdev can just even have it like that the way that you are used to guys okay so that's our vdev connected to rdev in series these two they are in series then you connect them to the points a and b remember this is where we had our points a and b and we have got our load resistor so we are going to use the load resistor now which is our load resistor everything so you're just going to take vtf it's eight so vtf here it was eight volts rtf this was 14 ohms uh the load resistor from our circuit remember we removed the wall of that eight this one the eight ohms that was our eighth one that we removed there so we're gonna have our load resistor which is eight ohms just like that so meaning to say in that case in order for us to have or to obtain our current we can now use these two that we are having so we can work with uh, the voltage and the resistance that we are given which is the sum of those uh two that we are given so that that is the idea you could have separated these circuits you could have separated which is another way out so with this this is the current flowing this is positive negative you can calculate your current now in this circuit so like i said from the that part it's now your sixth stage of calculating which is the final stage now uh of calculating uh, the currents, voltage, for whatever that you're given. Now you can calculate it. Now you can calculate anything. All right, so let's start with current. We saw that current is equal to VTF over the total resistance, which is in series. You add, so it's going to be RTF plus RL. So that's it. So our current uh, is going to be VTF, which is 8, over the total resistance. It's going to be 14 uh, plus 8. That is the idea there. So we are going to obtain our current as 0, 0,364 uh, amps. This is the current flowing along or across the load. So you can even consider this as IL, current across the load. That is what we have. So as we can see, guys, these, these questions, it's, it's it's the way that you are given. That's the way that you simply uh, answer that question. You can even answer whatever other part that you'll be given from there. Having that current uh, uh, that is flowing, you can calculate even the voltages, this and that. That is the part that you can have. All right, another way that we could have uh, actually answered this. Okay, let me just put it back so that we can see, guys, um, before I talk about this other way. You can actually shoot uh, this, okay? So, guys, I, mean, I don't know if it's going to be clear, but that is how it's going to look like. Um, another way that we could have taken is that as we are to remove these points A and B, as we are to remove the load, resistor it is also connected with r3 they are in series these two these two are in series so if they are in series i can combine these two together and remove them at once so meaning to say on that first stage when you remove this you're going to remain with something like this this is another way that we could have answered this same question. So it's gonna be like this, okay? You remove this whole part as it is. So it's gonna be open like that. The whole part, this one, you remove it because it's in series, the current there is the same in series. So that's our A and B. Our R2, our R1, our V1 like that, guys, okay. Then you can calculate V there 
which is through that, like I said before, so our VTEF from our voltage divider rule is going to be R2 over the sum. That's going to be R1 uh, plus R2 times what? Times V1. So this was not going to well, was not going to change in terms of VTEF. R2 was going to be as it is, which is 12 over the sum uh, 6 plus 12 times V1, which is 12. So this one was going to give you eight volts, okay? On the other thev now, because your circuit is like this, remember you remove everything. So it was gonna affect your other thev when it is like this, because you remember you shot V1. So when you shot circuit V1, you remain with something like this. That's another stage, uh, which is our stage three. When you shot circuit V1, this is what you're going to have. This is the point A and B. Remember you removed everything. So you use R2 and R1 only. This is what you're going to have. So it means your R2 was simply going to be product over sum of R1, R2 over R1 plus R2 because these two are the ones that are in parallel. So product of R1 and R2, uh, 6 and 12. So it was going to be 6 by 12 over 6 plus 12. That is what we're going to have if it is like this. And this was going to give you 4 ohms as your R2. But now, when you are to consider the equivalent circuit now, this is where it was going to affect your answer now. On the equivalent circuit, uh, that's the equivalent circuit diagram. It was going to affect now because we have your VTEV, which is true. This is your VTEV, you have it. And you also have your RTEV. According to this, this is our RTEV. Across the points A and B, what is happening now is important. What is happening across A and B is important. Remember A and B, we removed these two resistors together. R3 and R4 was removed because I said it's the same current. So when you are to replace across that A and B, you must consider your load resistor that it is those two resistors combined, 10 and 8. So it must be 10 plus 8, which is 18. So meaning to say you are now having 18 ohms there. The combined part of those two resistors. Your RTEV, remember it's 4 ohms. This is your RTEV, which is 4 ohms. Your VTEV, which is 8 volts. You can calculate the current that is flowing in this circuit. Still obtain the same answer just like the previous case. Remember current VTEF over the total resistance, which is RTEF plus RL, our VTEF, uh, sorry, our VTEF there, which is 8 over our RTEF, which is 4 plus 18. So that's it. You're still going to obtain uh, the same current of 0 0.364 amps. So that's another way that we could have work. But as you can see now, this one, it is going to affect, the second way is going to affect if you are using other formulas that are depending on Thevenin's theorem, like if you are to work with the maximum power transfer, we're going to talk about that. You will see that this part now is not going to be applicable when you are doing the maximum power transfer. So it will be best that you work with the first way that I did. If you opt for this one, it's in your hands, guys. It's your choice. You. So let's work out as many questions as we can uh, as we are preparing uh, for the exams that are ahead of time.